Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do just a Q&A, like get to know me. Um, I haven't done one of these videos yet and I have hit 200 subscribers, which is crazy. So thank you if you're tuning into my channel. Um, I'm used to people just 10 and under enjoying what I have to say. So it's just kind of crazy to me that there are 200 people out there wanting to see my videos. So thank you for watching them and I will continue to make more. So comment below and say hi and tell me why you're tuning into this channel. So tell me if you're a homeschooling mom or if you are a run a daycare or if you do both uh, homeschool and run a daycare or if you know you're just wanting to know how this crazy kid lady uh, goes about her day. Uh, just comment below and say hi and uh, I'll, I'll say hi back and we can I can kind of get a feel for who's watching these videos so I know for future videos. So for this video I thought I'd just tell you guys a little bit more about myself. Um, when I went to college to be a teacher, so my degree's in elementary education, and I got married by junior year of college and then we had our son, uh, our first son, uh, like 11 months later. So. I remember after I had him, I remember thinking, I don't want to put him into someone else's care while I spend the day with other people's kids. Like that just didn't make sense to me. I wanted to come up with something that I could be with him, um, but also be able to teach because I do love to teach. And at the time I was working in a commercial daycare um, as like an after school teacher while I was going finishing school myself. and. I really enjoyed that atmosphere of daycare and so I got the idea to open up my own home daycare. So it took a little bit. We were living in a apartment at the time and we had then we moved to a different apartment and so I started my first home daycare right after my son's first birthday and that was actually in an apartment and it was a very small apartment and we lived there for two years and it worked but we also felt like we lived in a daycare for those two years so we when we went to look for a house our first house we were really were looking for a home that could I could still have my daycare but it was would be separate and I wouldn't have to feel like we were living in a daycare. I wanted the, I still wanted that same feeling of leaving my work every day and separating home life from work life. And so we found the home that we currently live in. We changed the whole lower level into a daycare. My husband put a small kitchen into our basement, which has worked very well because we were, it was very challenging keeping the daycare food and our home food like separate. So when my first son turned five, we, uh, my husband and I started talking about um, schooling options. And we had, even when we were dating, we had talked about homeschooling and had really thought of that as a possibility for our family. Um, but that we really didn't make that decision until it was time for him to go to kindergarten. And it just made sense with uh, the daycare and just homeschooling them together. It can be challenging, but um, it allows me to, to be with my kids and, and also gives me that opportunity to teach. And so it just made sense to us to go ahead and homeschool. So our kids have always been homeschooled. They've never been in, um, in any other type of schooling option and it works for us. Um, it's something that I don't know if we will do homeschool them all for 12 years. We don't, we kind of just talk about it every year, just what's working for our family, what's, um, and just kind of, or each individual kid, like maybe we'll have some kids that do eventually go to a district school, a private school, and some kids that are homeschooled through high school. Um, our oldest is in seventh grade, so we have a couple more years before we have to make the high school decision, but um, but we we just kind of decide on homeschooling year by year. And so outside of like my work and homeschooling our kids, um, I always joke that my my hobby is lesson planning because there's a lot of planning going along with you know homeschooling five kids and running a daycare. But um, I also like to read, and so if I have some downtime at the end of the night, I do like to read or watch movies on Netflix. But Netflix, since it's summertime, there hasn't been too much, but maybe towards the fall, uh, there'll be some more stuff. But if you guys have something that you absolutely love on Netflix, comment that below too to give me some 
new ideas. Like lately though, I've just been reading because, um, so I'm going to show you the two books that I'm reading. So I like to read, I usually read two books at a time and I like to think one for enjoying and one for growing. So the one that I'm enjoying is this one and it's by Tessa Afshar and I hope I'm saying her name right because she, this book is really good and this is kind of a genre I like. I like to read uh, biblical fiction or um, or like olden time books. So I rarely read a book from this time period. I like to uh, definitely read older um, books and then like olden day books, like anything with like a covered wagon on it, like I will, I will read it. <laughs> so, so that's kind of what I like to read. And then for growing right now, I've um, been reading a different beautiful and this is by Courtney Westlake. And this is such a good book. Like this is one of the books, like usually when I read a growing book, I like to have a highlighter and then like, you know, highlight things that um, kind of impact me well like basically I think I would be highlighting this whole book so if you guys have not read this book like she's this is an excellent book but um so so yeah so I like to read a growing book and enjoy and bum and other than that I like to just kind of hang out with my my husband like we like to go on walks at night and um just being with our family and so I'm pretty much, I'm kind of a homebody, so. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit more about myself and if you have any other questions. I know I've been getting some questions about, um, you know, licensing or different policies and maybe I'll put all those questions together and make one video about just the process of daycare licensing and then also um, getting questions about how I kind of do both and so um, I'm trying, I'm going to try to do like a monthly vlog, um, just kind of show you like a day in the life and kind of show you what we're doing and kind of how I manage both of those. But one thing I do, um, that does help me be able to homeschool and do the daycare is that I really take my job professional. So like since our daycare and homeschool is in our whole lower level, like I I basically in my mind think that I'm going to work and so at 7 o'clock in the morning when I come downstairs I rarely ever go back upstairs until 5 o'clock when I close or you know sometimes I will run upstairs and throw something in the crock pot if we're having some like a crock pot dinner but for the most part I am just down in my daycare and doing school so so if you think about it in that way like um, you know I am licensed for eight children during the day and I do usually have between seven and eight a day um, which is really not much more than a lot of larger families and I mean I have five on my own so when you add three more it's really not that much different than homeschooling a larger family and I know that I watch other YouTube videos and of uh, larger homeschooling families and they have 10 11 kids and they're doing they're doing fine too oh, and then also um, my children are a little bit older um, and so they're they're honestly probably more of a help than, you know, it's not like I have eight one-year-olds running around that I'm taking care of. Like my, my son is 11, he's almost 12, and so he, he's really, he's, he's amazing with the daycare kids. And my two little daughters, my first grader and my kindergartner, absolutely love also playing with the babies. So. Okay, and then why I started this channel um, is to really find a community of um, other daycare providers. So I feel like sometimes when we have home daycares, we're in our homes a lot with just kids all day, and we don't have that support or that, you know, colleague that we work with. And so really I started it to kind of just give out some information more about home daycare and, um, and hopefully just find another, some other providers that we can bounce ideas off of and just or show, you know, things that we're doing in our daycares. And then also to just give a picture of kind of how I homeschool and do a daycare because it is possible and it is very enjoyable. And it gives me the opportunity to be home with my kids but also have a career because I, I love um, like professionalizing the industry of home daycare and showing that it is a very valuable career and it is a great career for if you do have the love for teaching and want to be home with your kids or if you just or if you do need to supplement some of your income and then also um, 
my one of my favorite things to do on YouTube is watch other homeschooling moms. So I also started the channel to also uh, kind of get a community of moms within that homeschooling industry. And then also one of the questions that I get a lot is what do I do with my little ones while I'm trying to homeschool my older ones? So hopefully my channel can give homeschooling moms some uh, different ideas of what to do with their younger kids while they're trying to get their older kids' schoolwork done. And so that is why I started this channel. And thank you guys for watching this video. And if you want to continue to watch videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.